Welcome to another episode of Breaking Bank. This is your host, Jack McHagg. And you can catch us on libertyaid.org. And if you have any questions, thoughts, or what have you, contact at libertyaid.org. Um, just write us an email. And uh, sometimes I'll make a video about it, but we will get back to you within 24 hours. Um, okay, this one's been asked a lot. Um, or brought up a lot so I thought I would go over this point what to expect when you go to court all right um, first of all the the way the system is run on us all everyone has a bad taste inside themselves for court winning at court has never happened for people it, that's a hoax it's just never happened Unless, you know, you're Illuminati, Freemason, you know, then they play a game in there and you can fake win, you know, on a skit or something. That's the only way. The rest of them, it's all a hoax. So then, you know, why use court? Well, court costs them a lot of money and also exposes their lies, which they don't want exposed. So... Um, those two things, um, are the reason, and, and so, you know, all the laws in our favor to use the courts and so on, um, but I'm just saying what they're all about is a hoax, but we use it to our advantage anyway, okay? They'll have to hire a lawyer, they gotta go, you don't, you don't need anything. See, you may have a bad taste in your mouth from court about something, but this is an action you are bringing in your person's name against them, uh, the bank, uh, the, really nothing can happen to you the way I have it set up, right? Um, you're gonna fill out, you know, cause you don't operate your person anymore, you're using a trust. So there, I know this is backwards cause of Apple, but there's like a waiver of fees form. Um, this is an application for determination of civil indigent status in Florida. Each, basically each state has a different form you fill out to say you have no assets, no income, etc. Um, and that allows you to um, start any court action against you know anyone, any business for free. So it has this has a cool double whammy, right? Uh, or multi whammy, at least a double whammy of saying, "Hey, I'm suing you for free, and I have nothing." So what are they gonna do? <coughs> There's nothing they can do. Oh, sorry, I found a little cold thing. Uh, <coughs> bear with me. <coughs> anyway, so, see that sends a message, and then, hey, everything's free for you. Well, you gotta get them to service the process properly, um, you know, according to the court, and so on. So, that's one form you fill out, big deal, it's all zeros. That's easy to fill out. That's nothing. And they have them for free. It's going to, hey, clerk of court, can I have that thing that I can sue anybody for free? Uh, yeah. And I go, can I get 10 copies of the thing or 20 or whatever? And they're like, well, you can only have 10. So I'm like, okay, whatever. Give me 10. And then you're going to have a, you know, like one page every for every state, really, and then trickle down to every county, basically. This is done at the county level, of course. <coughs> but every county is going to have a one page small claims filing form. This is Sarasota's. There's just like hardly any information on there. Right? Claim down your money. Who's who? Sign it. There's like nothing to it. So what to expect is these forms are super simplified. Um, the thought you have that's the right answer for filling in legs, it's, it's probably the right answer. It's not like rocket science or anything. Once you've seen my work, it's, this, I use the simplest methods possible. You're probably overthinking whatever, you know, really because you got to me because of the sovereign this or the UCC one or all this other nonsense it takes. You know, you have to learn these nine million forms and then maybe if you just, maybe, maybe, maybe. Now, nah, this ain't like that. This is get it close and they still have to hire a lawyer and spell, spend all this money, show up and get all their stuff exposed. They don't like that. So, 
you know, don't worry about a little detail here or there. Just go do this stuff as fast as you can. It's, it's simple. The first time you're like, oh, I hope I get this right. You get all this whatever. They're just, <laughs> they're just getting their, you know, weekly paycheck. They don't care about anything down there at the whatever, you know, courthouse. Did you fill the form out? Okay. You know, the judge, he's going to care when he sees that stuff, but, you know, or she, it, whatever. Um, but, you know, just getting it done usually isn't that hard. Some states have, you know, different things that make it some unique difficulties you have to overcome. And, um, and I have other enforcement methods in the Liberty Aid debt removal system, okay? I'm just talking about one right now and one sort of tremor that people get. You know, I'm not going into all the details. I'm just, people have, a, you know, a lot built up in their mind about this whole court thing. So I'm just kind of going to walk you through how simple this thing is. I mean, it's two forms. You, then you have to get them the court, you know, the action, you know, but you, you give this to the clerk of court and the other form and then you start an action. Hey, fill out your forms. Here you go, clerk. Like, oh, well, this is free for you. Great. Thanks. And they're like, give you pieces of paper back from this thing. It's like, okay, now send this to the other party. And you're like, well, see in, in, in Florida, if they're in the state, the clerk will send them certified mail for themselves. And so they get notice. Oh, they got it. So it's all within the clerk so how are they not going to know so when it's time to go to court so you have to get them this paperwork properly that's called service of process that's the name for fitting within the rules of getting them notice that this court thing happened which isn't all that easy sometimes so we make it as easy as possible and have whatever the courthouse will do with getting them service of process you want them to do it because then it's on their records it's so simple six dollars and forty cents to get an in-state the paperwork for the clerk of court certified set just the just the certified mail amount they don't charge a fee on top of it nothing just the certified i mean then then they have the record see how simple it is but <coughs> there are different rules in different um counties as to how that surface process goes i'm using that example because that is the simplest way to do it in Florida. And, and in fact, they go, well, why don't you just get the sheriff to do it? We don't, you know, you can get them to do it. I'm like, well, why would I do that? <laughs> you're sitting here, right? You're the clerk of court. You're going to have the record for the court of whether the service or process are happening, happening or not. So you do it. You have the record. It's just so simple. They're always trying to put in an extra layer of difficulty or whatever away from themselves. <laughs> they ask me that every time. I'm like, no, thank you. You do it. They're like, mm. yeah, well, what? It's your job. Do it. And I want it on record. So you're standing at the window. You're giving them this paperwork to quote the clerk of court. There are many clerks. There are a bunch of people working for an individual who's chosen as quote clerk of court. And then they have this giant staff in a giant building next to the you know, get married, birth records, death records, all that kind of stuff. That's usually where small claims, you know, stuff gets filed. Different for every county, easy to find out. Usually their forms are online too, just print them out or just go down there and get a handful for free. Sometimes you gotta ask the clerk, sometimes they're just in like a, you know, a bin style where you can just go grab a pile of them. Um, I've seen them both ways in different states and counties. Um, so that happens, and usually small claims wants to happen somewhere in 30 to 60 days. They say 30 days or under is their goal, the small, the small claims concept, but it's usually 60 days or under. Sometimes it gets under 30 days. Anyway, um, and they don't like to spend a lot of time on these, so... Um, you know, the, the lawyer basically is going to get a small claims thing and try, wants to negotiate out of this problem or maybe wants to get paid and, you know, come down a bunch. So, of course, you can do under our work many different kinds of small claims filings. 
And unless you have an acute situation like a foreclosure where you do it like shotgun blasts all at them at once, the anything but that, you actually want to make it take longer, one action after the other. You don't do all the enforcement me methods in the system all at once. You kind of stagger them out. Why? Because you want them to increase their legal fees. See, the you know, you know lawyers are the vampires draining everybody's money. So you just put the vampire on their own throat. <laughs> Get them bleeding out lawyer fees on the lawyer. Because you already wrote down you have nothing. Sorry, I don't have anything. You know, so you're just going to make them spend money as often as you can. More money they spend, the more money they lose. Eventually, they don't like that game and the whole exposure game. And so then they want to settle at some point. So, um, so it's really, you know, <laughs> try and lose the feeling. You know, because you go, you go, you know, you park your car, you're going to the courthouse, right? Like, take off your shoes, your clothes, your, you know, we're going to shave your head, you know, whatever they got going on down there. Crazy stuff, you know. Um, that's to intimidate you and make you feel like you don't want to go through that process. So whenever they're trying to make you feel that way, I flip it on them. I'm like, oh, you <laughs> You Freemasons, you always try to get my pants off, right? <laughs> Pulling my belt up. Oh, the shoes too. Do I, do I need to bend over or anything? I start making a comedy routine, and then they know who I am. And you know, if I'm, if I'm any, you know, angst about being there, or whatever, I put it on them. You know, all of it by exposing them or whatever. You know, I, I'm with God. I don't have any fear of them. And so if they want me to try and make me have it, I'm, I've said so many things to them, they know exactly who I am. You know, they all finally agree, yeah, nothing really ever happens down here, it's all of a hoax. There's nothing to worry about, it's a bunch of people that probably never fired a gun. It might be a, you know, who never was one of these bullets. They're so, you know, how to say this in a nice way. They're not all that intelligent, you know? stand in the same place all day every day for 20 years chances are you know nobody gave them a loaded gun you know probably just has blanks in it you know don't worry about them they're they're not that smart you know they don't know what's going on nothing they're just you know think think of them more like you know like like uh you know when you go into the grocery store and you can't get in some doors because it says, you know, exit, not entrance. But there's a button you can push, you know, and get in there anyway on the side of the door. They're like that. They're like a button. They're like, they're they're barely human, you know. So, they're just doing what, they were just following orders. Sorry, we we were, we came in as human, but we're, we no longer think for ourselves. We just follow orders. We're like a automatic door opener or closer see that they're nothing they're not to be intimidated you you're concerned when you go to the grocery store and go through the doorway no they're no more intelligent than the switch on the door okay the their guns probably aren't loaded you know they're nothing they got nothing upstairs so don't be concerned about them you don't got no beef with them in fact their security and all their whole little game down there it's going to cost the other, whoever, the banker on the other side, a ton of money because they need to get a special lawyer down there and everything and answer your letters that are like, you know, they don't have any answer to a single question in there. So they got to get somebody good, spend a bunch of money, put a giant, you know, retainer down, 10 grand or something just to get somebody to show up. And you spent $6.40, do you remember? Oh, it's so funny. So you're, their little game you're playing on them now, okay? There's nothing to be worried about. In fact, you know, do, get, get your acting, you know, persona together, you know? You know what you're doing, it's a comedy. I don't, it doesn't matter how you feel. Actors on Broadway are doing the show no matter whether their mom died that day, or, you know, they got married that day, or, you know, they found, found, you know, 
five thousand dollars, you know, in their pocket that day. <coughs> They're, you know, performing an act. It doesn't. You wouldn't know that in the audience. They're your audience. They're not supposed to know anything. You're running this game down on them. Fear is not your thing. You're you're running a comedy skit on the bankers where they spend even more money on you after giving you a bunch of their money already. They don't like you. And so you make that keep going until, you know, we're going to settle. I'm going to quit exposing you and make fun of you if you want. But you get this thing off my credit report or this mortgage off my home or what have you, you see. So they always, you're, you're coming with, you know, you sent them paperwork, right? You asked for the proof. They didn't have it. Everyone found out the same. I thought they were going to have proof. No, they never have proof. Every debt by every bank has always, since banks began, okay, always from the beginning of banks, always been collected illegally. This is a scam. So here's what's happening. You're bringing a correct legal action against these scammers, and they're, the scammer's going to show up with fake paperwork that or paperwork that doesn't even relate. Your signature's not on it. They have completely, you know, what's called counterfeit documents, non-original, and they're gonna lie about a bunch of stuff. So they're gonna lie and come with counterfeit documents. You're gonna come with just, you know, how I asked them for proof and they didn't have it. So, you know, you're exposing that and so much more. So really, what what are you worried about? They're the lying counterfeiters, right? That are gonna paid. You know, two hundred fifty, five hundred dollars an hour, a thousand dollars an hour. Some of them more to show up against you, more against me. And plus, I've had a four of them in the room against me. So what's that? They were definitely a thousand dollars each. So that's four thousand dollars an hour. I'm, well, I'm not in any rush to talk with them. Duty do looking out the window. Why not? They got drive time too, from all their offices in Miami and everywhere. You know, I got a, you know, fifty thousand, hundred thousand dollar day on them. You know, what am I? Do we want to go to lunch or something? We, <laughs> you might as well put it on your credit card. So you know, the game is to get them to spend more money and aggravate them, and you know, expose them, and so don't feel bad about this. Feel happy about it. It's finally your turn use all the legal things that they're using against you but you're using them in the right way the legal way the way you're supposed to and so really don't have any of that concern or worry and if you do go down there a bunch of times I'm, I go down there three times a week until I don't you know I'm at the courthouse every day what it doesn't have any new mystique or mystery of it like go down there a bunch whatever I've been to courthouses a lot you know, they've asked me not to come again. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. You know, please, sir. <laughs> anyway, so don't, I'm just saying, okay? It's on them. It's not on you. There's not, it's not going to, you know, you're going to go in, okay, you've done your paperwork. You're there for the day, right? You're going to go out there, going to go up ding in the elevator in the lobby, what have you. You'll probably be... be like in, in Florida, there's small claims that auto, automatic mediation. So basically, the judge kind of wants a deal to go down if possible in the lobby if you haven't got one already. Or get a continuance basically is what the lawyer's going to do his first time out to get more time to talk about it. He's not ready to have a case or anything the first time you go. They're not, they're not going to do anything that time. I mean, 99 times out of 100 times, there's nothing going to happen the first time. He's, they're going to want to see if you're going to show up, basically. You you know, are you brave enough to come to your own court action? Obviously, you are. You started it. And then, you know, the lawyer's going to assess what's up with you. And you're going to be in your acting, you know, persona. Where, you know, it's a happy day and I'm going to take all your money. And Isn't this fun? I'm learning so much from you people. Thank you. When are we going to meet again? You know like, you're going to enjoy this thing like it's your... I treat it like this thank you for having me down, I guess, to do my most favorite thing I love to do. 
who likes going to court? Nobody, but I serve God, so it's like my high, highest service for him. Once the things start happening in there that like God and his miracles, he'll switch and it'll be your favorite place to go. Because, you know, I mean, once with God and, and God starts back in you and you live in truth, <laughs> their guns and their courthouses and all that nonsense have no power, none, zero, none. So, and you'll witness it. So, okay, so you got this thing and not really anything's going to happen. Maybe the lawyer approaches you or you approach the lawyer for the thing. What's your one question to a lawyer always? There's one question. What is it? We all know it. What's your settlement offer? <laughs> you put your hand out. What's your settlement offer? Yeah. <clears throat> How much money are you going to give me? Or what is your settlement offer? You can say it in a nice way, but, you know. That's what we're there to do, okay? We're there to push them and push them and push them and expose them and, you know, take their things and their assets and their paycheck and their job and et cetera, et cetera, until, you know, they want to live in truth and leave us alone. And then we'll leave them alone, you see? So that's the way it is. And, and you know, the judge, small claims is usually quite pleasant. They're, you know, it's meant to be set up for the everyday man kind of, situation to get rid of the little problems so the judge is usually very sweet in the beginning and it's very um usually has a little script they do about this is small claims this is how it works blah -de blah for a couple minutes kind of like brings everybody down who's been into criminal court and had the judge you know steal from them and all that nonsense Nobody wants to be there, so they're trying to take the pressure out of the air. Anyway, um, then, after that, we got, uh, you know, they start calling court cases, and then you go up to different podiums, and, um, you know, your first time there, or whatever, you know, the other party's basically going to ask for continuance, or you're going to step out to mediation, or whatever. And they want to hear, you know, about whatever, and you're just like, can you show me the proof, please? I didn't. That's not an original. I'm just looking for the originals. That's all. So, and you know, you have your chat with them, in which case you sort of let them know you're going to come after their home just the way you're coming after your, my assets and whatever. The lawyer, like you, where do you live? Where's, what's your home address and stuff? Do you have a business card? You know, I get all the information I, I can because they're local. They, you know, they have to identify themselves with a business card or something, you know, or get the judge to force them to, you know, you right in court, you like, who is this over there? I need their name, their bar card, everything. Then you can go look them up. Uh, you know, I might do a separate video on how to, uh, it's on my list here, how to take a lawyer's job in his home. Because that's what you're going to do then. You take the lawyer's job and the lawyer's home from them. It's not that, you know. That's what they do. They already showed everybody how to do it, so you're going to roll it down on them. And you notify that to them. You're standing against me in this room today. Oh, I'm representing whatever. I don't. Notice to principals. Notice to agent. I sent the letters to them. You signed up with them. Now you're against me. I'm going to take your job. I'm going to take your house. You know, like that. You. This is your act in front of you know, face to face, one on one, not with the judge, to the lawyer in the little tete a tete you have with them, if it's before court or after. You know, your your first question of course is what's your settlement offer? It doesn't meet your needs. You let them know, I'm gonna keep going until they take your home, your job, everything. You got children, are you married? I'm gonna take your wife, yo. You think I'm kidding? No, I'm gonna have the next child with her. <laughs> I'll say, you see, because their whole thing as we enter this building is to create, you know, some, you know, fracturization of us, uh, you know, not having us wholly there to, you know, mess them with their head. So now we're going to mess with their head, you see? <laughs> they created the game. I simply accept the terms of their game and use fear, which is their only weapon, against them, because they're the most fearful. Who else would be 20 years as a 
you know, state thief in a court other than someone who fears so much, you know, that they have to do this horrible thing. They're the most in fear. So as long as you overcome your own thing and enter your acting role to them, and that's all it is, so what? It's just an act, they're nobody, <laughs> nobody important, whatever. You can act just like on Broadway, just same thing. Today's your act, go, you know, do, do your thing. <coughs> Reminds me what an early teacher by my of mine uh, said to me. It was one of his most important teaching he thought he gave to me, and it was very meaningful. Uh, he said, uh, James Cagney was once asked um, why was he such a great actor? And he, she, right, responded by saying, when I go on stage, I say my lines. Do, do you understand the simplicity and purity of that? You must try to understand that because that's everything that I just gave you there. Everything. This is a game. They're going to say their lines. You already know what their lines are. So I already have the counter lines to their lines. And then the imprint of fear, that thing they were trying to put on you. Blip, the switch goes on them. See, then they start worrying about their house, their life, their children, their job. All that stuff that they want us to be worried about. Why? We brought an action against them. <laughs> we have zero to get. <laughs> you lose every time you show up. You're paying lawyer fees. They lose every time you bring a court action. They lose more money. They lose more face. They lose more everything. You see? There's, there's never when they win in court anymore. You always win, but they always spend more money, and you always expose more of their BS in front of more people. You always win now. You see, and ultimately, you can go against them so many times, they spend so much money, they're just like, my God. But it's fine, get it off his credit report already. Ah, who is this guy? I never want to hear from him ever again, you see? And so, you know, that's how wig court is, it's pleasant. Here's what you do, you stand up there and you're like, okay. And then, and the lawyer go, well, I wanna, I just got this thing, you know, last night and I got a retainer. I gotta, I gotta review this some more, your honor. Uh, this 30, judges say, well, does 30 days sound good? Is 60, or what? you know, just write your motion down over there. And of course I'll sign, if a lawyer hands it to me and they don't have a lawyer, you know, whatever you want, go for it. That's their cozy little arrangement there in court so they get their continuance and the, and the, and the lawyer goes back and becomes your advocate do you see and goes D this dude <laughs> he scares me okay he keeps says he's gonna take my house you get somebody else in this case you know i don't want to do this <laughs> and they bring back see you're planting the seed of fear in them and they become your advocate to return the seed of fear to their progenitor, their principal. You want them to be fearful and say, uh, no thanks. Let's just go back to stealing money from people that don't even care if they get money stolen from them. You see? You want to be the thorn in their side. That's, that's the way you get them to settle. The thorn abscesses, they start to get a fever, you know, like that. I don't think I can steal money the way I used to. You know what? Let it go. Doink! Pull the thorn. Okay? So, court is nothing to worry about, like, at all. There's no, just, you know, put a collared shirt on, be polite. What are, you, what are they going to do to you? Nothing. Say nothing. None of that. Admiralty, all cap, like, just don't go into any of that pissed off stuff. You tell that lawyer out in the hallway, you, you cook up a little charcoal fire out there and you roast them. Okay, like, that's your Broadway thing out there in the hallway, right? And you're going to follow through, by the way. It ain't just an act. So it's easy to feel that way and deliver it because it's not an act. It's the truth. Okay, you're gonna do it. Okay, but you have to have 
that in you and deliver the information, not just the words, but you know, the emotion, the tone, you must imprint this fear on them. They must be concerned. I mean, the last lawyer I did this up on, you know, they, it was an email. I did it by email and they just absolutely were so scared that, that, you know, deputies went from me in the courtroom. They were so scared of me, but God made them not be able to touch me. They were like, <laughs> frozen in place and I was like uh, yeah, anyway do we have anything left to talk about <laughs> I'm just like <laughs> I was like your honor are we done oh you can go oh later yeah you wouldn't. turns out you don't have the authority over this body anymore he does God does so the more you go to court and, and the more you do what I say to do as you do this under God's protection, the more God will back you. You know, God, Jesus Christ saved us. He didn't kind of save us. He didn't. Then he came again in another body, right? Mirbada, Mirbaba, who says, don't worry. Why? Why? Everything seems so worrisome here. Why should I not worry? Because Jesus Christ saved you. And all they have is bluster and lies and fear. Down at the courthouse, the police, all of them. When you begin to look into this, you realize all this terrible stuff on the news is a hoax and never happens. They have to make up this game of chaos and fear that never, and I mean never, happens. Not ever. So, you see, they're trying to throw down this thing on us, right? So, Mayor Baba says, don't worry. Be happy, right? Because there's no reason to worry, so you're happy, right? But still, it continues. Not just don't worry, be happy. It's don't worry, be happy, and do your best. In other words, do your best in court. Say your lines. Get on stage. Stay your lines. Do it. <clears throat> don't cower in fear you're with God why would you be worried or in fear they should be and they are you'll find out they are very afraid you will find out of the power of God and you're with them and then don't worry be happy do your best and what Mir Baba says I will help you <laughs> go watch what happens when God helps you in court they are scared Scared, you 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 want to see the cops be in fear and a judge and lawyers like be absolutely scared. That'll flip you on court. You'll watch it, okay? So anyway, um, a little video about what to expect at court. I think this kind of an overview with some details. Um, eventually, you're gonna keep doing this and this you know this pattern. Of enforcing through small claims until they, you're just bleeding them out through the lawyers' fees, until one lawyer's like, uh, "I couldn't sell more lawyer fees, so I gotta settle with you." You know what I mean? Because I go to the lawyer, I'm like, "Oh man, I'm gonna make you a millionaire. We're gonna be down here every month, yo. Who give me a high five? I'm gonna make you rich. <laughs> You'll never settle." You're with this crazy guy every every month. They're like, and I'm gonna take your house, yo. Isn't this great? I love this. Like, oh my like, what? <laughs> you see, so it becomes a game. Enjoy the game. Initiate the game when you're ready to enjoy it, or initiate it <coughs> when you're ready, <coughs> excuse me, to see, okay, but like I said, it doesn't have to be exact. You get close with these forms and so on. Don't worry about every little detail, you just do your best, okay? And I'm here to give you a hand too, right? Contact at libertyaid.org. The only, only proof. How can I be the only one with proof? It's like, it's staggering to me. I don't know about you to have to say this every day. I'm the only one that has a method with I use it and have proof. Why don't people do that? I, I had to talk to him. I mean, every day. It's just another day. I gave $400 to this guy. He never did anything. It's just like, 
know. Everyone comes with that story, and I'm sorry you carve them with that story. Pathetic people out there. Why why don't they help people? I don't Anyway, you're going with God, though, and he's got service for you to do for others. So this is how you do some of it. You live, you know, happy. No fear, you know. You're with God. This is what to expect at court. God bless your success.